Blockchain technology specifically has to do with decentralization, taking the power back from governments, banks, and from corporations, and giving it back to the people. Now, it's extremely exciting. Most of what I do is looking at the financial markets, currencies, and cryptocurrencies, of course. Cryptocurrencies are particularly difficult to analyze uh, simply because they're so new that they don't have uh, decades and centuries of different price metrics that people are looking at, so we kind of have to invent n uh, new ones as we go. ICOs are startups, plain and simple, and as we've seen in Tel Aviv, this is the startup nation. We've seen a lot of startups come and go. Some of them are really big, and some of them can make billions of dollars and revolutionize the way that we travel or the way that we do our hair. But at the end of the day, 99% or more of all startups are going to fail. Aww. When you think about ICOs, what it is, is basically democratizing the capital raising uh, for these startups. That where anybody uh, with the cryptocurrency wallet can participate in the funding of that. Has that led to overinvestment in specific areas? Certainly it has. Um, but also, I'm certain that we'll see uh, a lot of uh, large companies and game-changing uh, industries emerging from this. <laughs> Epidemic, sure. <laughs> Cryptocurrencies are extremely volatile, and especially for a novice investor, there is a good chance that you can lose all of your money. What I do recommend is that when you start out, you start out with very small amounts, and you never invest more than you can afford to lose. As you gain in knowledge and understanding of cryptocurrencies and other markets, so you'll learn to diversify your portfolio, so not just crypto. If we think about the way that the world's been running, since the beginning of time, it's progressively been getting more decentralized. You know, in the Middle Ages, we had kings and serfs, and these days, anybody has the potential to be a billionaire. The technology of blockchain uh, simply has that built into the cake. There is a lot of speculation about a face coin or a Google coin or Amazon coin, but obviously we can't know what they have planned in their boardroom, so we can't really speculate. I think it would be interesting. We'll definitely have to watch that space. Blockchain is not going to change a lot of the industries that are already there. People say that it's going to completely change everything. I don't believe that. Where it's specifically going to be useful, in places where there's a lack of trust between counterparties, so if you're doing business with somebody that you don't necessarily know, or you have to manage a database concurrently, that's where blockchain technology specifically is going to be uh, revolutionary, but also just the concept of decentralizing money. That right there is huge. And for somebody like me who's been involved in the financial markets my whole life and watch you know, how the, the rich get richer, the poor get poorer, this is, this is something that, uh, that is a game changer.